What's up, everybody? Rock and Roll James, right here on the Rock and Roll James show on YouTube. And my guest today is Joe Luna, also known as Juni Moon. Cheers. So, yeah, yeah long story short, that, that was the, the first Steel Heart. Wow. Because it, it went through changes as we were going. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we eventually wound up playing all over the place we played a uh we played bogeys nah, we, that was an awesome bar in harningen that would uh you know um uh, cater and host to all the rock uh, l music lovers in the rio grande valley and they would bring in bands from all over the United i remember States. black star yeah, i went to black watch black star. star there and i jumped on stage they were kicking yeah. so much ass they were like the motley crewish type they were following the shout at the devil type image and yep. they were amazing i went man. to watch them and we were we used to get crazy like i was telling you man i got jumped i jumped on stage with the band <laughs> i got up there on stage i was like yeah, yeah. and the freaking guitar player because i stood up in front of the guitar player he came over man and he just thumped me man and i went flying off that stage and i fell down and i got back up and i said yeah dude yeah you know <laughs> but yeah they, they, they bogeys was that was, was crazy and we wound up place. playing there man we got a gig there uh richard's alley oh yeah we played richard's alley we played the helipad yeah these are venues that people tw uh what we were we were teenagers and people in their 30s and 40s and bands that's you know hey man you know they're trying to get these gigs and here we are we're getting these gigs and we're playing there we're playing all these places and we're playing the bars and we're playing the talent the battle of the bands and we're winning the battle of the bands and so eventually got to the point after you know uh different versions of steel heart uh we eventually wound and up conquering the local area <laughs> it, those days were so much fun and terrorizing the local area too <laughs> you know th there's there's just so much we could go into um but let me tell you there's three legendary stories one is the uh, the talent show at the harlingen high school when steelheart was at 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 its peak man we had a kick-ass singer ronnie rieger he had moved down and he had a dysfunctional background yeah we uh we used to go to his house that's when mtv first came out during because he lived right by the high school during our lunch break we would go to his house to do bad things <laughs> and watch mtv oh yeah and we were just in the hopes that we would catch an iron maiden video or a judas priest video but we would go to his house and then we would come back to school all happy and and you know no close campuses <laughs> back then no uh-uh as a matter of fact harlingen high had a smoking area for the students yeah we as well. said yeah that's where and they we had no hanging. dress code and so it was very lax back then now it's very very different uh you know there's guards and police really? yeah there's police uh you know there's a, actually a whole police crew that uh school districts have now so uh, it's very different, and you go into school now, you can't get out unless you've got special permission or you get picked up by somebody. But back in the day, we used to go out on our lunch hour. We'd go to the local Sonic or, you know, or go to a friend's house and hang out and then come back. And so it was a lot more lax back then. Yeah, more. we used to leave the campus and go, like I said, do bad things mm -hmm. and then come back to school uh, and probably do bad things <laughs> back at school <laughs> and get bad grades <laughs> yeah but we had become like the biggest band in in harlingen you know uh and uh, we had the entire the entire school loved us you know we had you know so many fans man we had these uh buttons made actually i think it was uh joe corral his mom or something made made these steel heart buttons and we started passing them out and man, everybody was wearing one. I remember going to school in every class, it's like, oh damn, everybody's wearing steel heart buttons. That's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, and we wound up getting uh, an inter uh, uh, write up in the high school paper, and uh, I mean that because we were like steel heart. This this is our rock band. We're you know? legit. We this is our rock band. Uh, our high school embraced us, man. You know, 
and uh, and they loved us for all the terrible things that we did and for playing rock and roll. You know, they they just loved that we were a rock and roll band and that we were rock and roll. We were rock and roll, man. We were like James was saying they had a smoking area. We're bad boys. Guess what? That's between classes, whatever. That's where we would be. Mm -hmm. We would be at the smoking area, smoking cigarettes, you know, and wearing our leather jackets and, you know, so battle of the bands. We are set up and we are put last because even the principal knew, you know, this is the headliner, (laughs) you know, and we had already, we had a, a little band meeting already said, man, we don't really care about this battle of bands. We don't care if we win. We're here to play. We're here to play. Let's just play until they stop us, until they tell us to stop, you know? And I remember there was a band called Windjammer. Hello to Windjammer. I know there's I a I remember few... them, man. Jason Duke. They play a lot at the island, South Padre Jason Padre Duke, island. stop being mad. Okay, <laughs> we're cool. We're friends. That was a long time ago. You know, Jason Duke didn't like us because, you know, Everybody loved Steel Heart, and they didn't yeah. show love to Winchester. It was competitive. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so here's the deal, man. So we said, we're going to play, and we're not going to stop until they make us stop. You know, and A.J. Mancabelli, Ronnie Rieger. Ronnie Rieger was so full of energy, man. It's like, and this dude, you know, um, he came from, I'm going to say, maybe the Houston area. And he came down here. And we were looking for a singer, and he lied to us and said, hey, I was in one of the hottest bands from my area, you know, and uh, I'm looking to join a band here. So we're like, this guy is, you know, he, he's already, like, experienced, man. He, he, he's, he's telling us these stories about this great band he was in. And, and when we would practice or, or our first practice audition, whatever, he blew us away, man. This dude was doing flying like splits he'd jump and do the splits david lee roth yeah and he's seeing him oh man he'd be terrible he he was he reminds me of uh, bruce uh dickinson Uh, he was dynamic had a good stage jumping around singing he he talked to the crowd so Uh we believed that everything he told us later on he he Uh said hey man you know i just said that to get in the band i was never this is my first band i wasn't in any other bands before that but then after telling us that he had to live up to it right so anyway, so here we are at the Battle of the Bands, and all the other bands had played, and it was, it was our turn. And I'm in the bathroom taking a piss, and a friend of mine, Preston, he says, hey, can I introduce the band? I said, yeah, go out there and introduce the band. That's cool, man. He goes, well, he went out to, to the front, and I'm still in the bathroom. And, uh, and the one thing the principal had said, uh, nobody nobody on the gym floor everybody stay in your seats stay on the bleachers you know he he said this at the beginning mm. of the bat of, you know because he <laughs> he just didn't want nobody on the on the floor right and you don't want to mess up the floor so anyway i'm still in the back in the bathroom and then i hear preston go hey man what we've been waiting for come on come on man get down here <laughs> and i heard him telling everybody to come down oh, and yes. next thing you know next thing i hear because i'm in the back like, oh shit, I, I better get back i, I better get out there and get ready to play because he's already you know introducing the band and i hear him say that and then i hear the thunder dude the thunder of everybody leaving the bleachers just loud and the first thing i thought is that oh man the principal's gonna get me pissed <laughs> off awesome so i get out and by the time i got up to my amp and grabbed my guitar there's almost there's no almost no room in front of me everybody had come down everybody the whole school and these are uh Nobody missed, nobody missed that Battle of the Bands. I mean, everybody stayed. I think it was after school probably, I'm thinking. Something like that. Everybody stayed, man, to watch our band. And everybody was there, filled the, the gym. And they were on already, you know, breaking the rules on the gym floor. And we just tore into some Van Halen. I forget. I think we opened up, we opened up with um, Ain't Talking About Love, maybe. Mm-hmm. We did Running Free. Uh, again, Joe Corral and Luis Torres are going to remind me, hey, man, you know, these are the songs you did in this order. Go they, ahead and comment on the know. video there in the YouTube there and right there. But. So <laughs> we, we did the first song, man, and and, uh, and we had a, like a light man, I guess, because at the end of the song, you know how it is. Da, 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 and, then, da. Yeah. 
uh, Ronnie took a le- uh, he jumped and he did the splits. You know, he used his microphone stand to propel him self even higher. So he he just he was going up like this, and the song ended as he was going up, and the lights cut out. So all you saw was like Ronnie disappearing into the air. <laughs> he jumped, the lights went out. <laughs> you couldn't he, have scripted it any better. And he was and anyway. <laughs> so then we started the next song, and everybody's like just going crazy, man. And I won't mention like uh, this uh, certain female's name because you know I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> cause any problems. Oh, yeah. But it was also the first time that our band had ever gotten flashed, and it was right there at the Harnja High School <laughs> talent contest. Thing is, she didn't know her tits fell out of her shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> because she was like, yeah, rocking out, yeah. rocking.